Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to look at using Autodesk 123D Make to uh, print something out on the laser cutter. So um, I've decided to use the, the rocket uh, uh, image object, uh, however you want to put it. Um, so basically I've selected it and you can select it from up here open examples rockets there's a number of examples and you can also sign up for more so I'm not going to quite go into all the different pieces of 123 uh, D make in this episode however just kind of a brief overview showing the entire process and if there's interest I'll probably do some more uh, videos on this because uh, actually it was this program which inspired me actually to build the uh, laser cutter which I'm using and, and actually uh, the one I'm at building also alongside of it so but uh, with this uh, we're gonna actually go down here we have chosen radial slices over here to kind of give it this image uh, one of the things you'll note over here we have several red images and if we look at model issues we have um, multiple notches over here so we have some slice errors to to be frank, I haven't been able to get it past the slice errors no matter what I've done. So I've just actually gone ahead and, and done this with the slice errors. So with this being said, what I've done is I've gone over here, down here in the bottom to get plans. And when you click get plans, it opens it up in this sheet view. And then down here at the bottom, I've chosen DXF and I have it in millimeters and I want to do an export. So I'm going to export this and then I've already done this once before but I'm gonna do rocket DXF do save I'm gonna replace it since it's existing now what I need to do next <clears throat> is convert this DXF into a series of cut paths to do this what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up um, uh, Vetrix cut 2d and I have an eight and a half by eleven sheet um, of paper here and then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the DXF file so you see here we have rocket D DXF so we're gonna click uh, click on it we're gonna open it and then boom we have it so you'll notice a couple of different things so um, let, let's click somewhere so we see this so th there's writing in here then there's the object itself so we're gonna focus on the object itself and not the the writing so basically what we're going to do is we're going to click on the first object and you see it's selected because of the line now we're gonna hold down the shift key and we're gonna select the other objects now notice I am not selecting any of the words just the objects that I want to cut out and I'm gonna go through here and uh, the order in which I do this is I believe the order which the tool path will be created so um, we're just gonna go through and select all of these and it take a second or so but um, some of these smaller ones I, I <clears throat> just let you know as a heads up uh, they don't come out too well so because they're just too small now for this example I'm doing a four inch tall rocket if you did a bigger rocket you know like an eight inch standard uh, it would probably be different okay so we have whoops forgot one here so uh, we have our all of our pieces highlighted and then so now what we're going to do is go over to toolpath we're going to select a toolpath profile and then actually what we're going to do is go in and select uh, laser now this particular laser is set for 60 millimeters per inch you see I also have a 30 here for cutting heavier material and I'll go over that in a different video uh, but for right now we're going to select this laser and you see here a feed rate is 60 millimeters per minute uh, cut diameter is 0.1 now I've kind of gone over this with the preprocessor stuff because we are in the oh, sorry not preprocessor post processor uh, I've covered this in another video which I've uploaded so I'd suggest looking at that uh, to find out more about this so again we're gonna select um, select the path now yeah sometimes it gets a little bit quirky now uh, and closes the window so we can go back and we can rename this you don't have to do this but just good habit I'm gonna call it path one and I'm gonna say calculate so now we come into our 3d view 
and we can move our 3D view around and look at it, uh, but pretty much it's a flat object. We see the tool path in red, blah, blah, blah. So now we go back to tool pass. What we do is we want to go save. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, with the post-processor stuff, we have uh, garble laser. So I want to save tool path. And in this case, I'm going to save it as rocket three and then hit save. That's all there is to it. So we've actually gone from cut, uh, sorry, from uh, one, two, three D make to Vetrix cut 2D. So we've created our object in the um, CAD program. We transferred it to the CAM. We've converted it to G code. We saved it out. Now all we have left do, to do is uh, actually run it on the laser. So after this, there'll be uh, I'll show you a, a time uh, a time lapse version of the laser cutting it out of some 80 pound bond stock, and then we'll go through and look at what results we have.